So, you guys might have heard, Beatmaker 3 dropped a new update. This is the 3.0.15 update. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw it out there right now. It's not a huge update. Not a whole lot has changed, but there's some things that you guys might wanna be in the loop on. And I'm also gonna talk about some future changes that might be coming hopefully in the near future. So this is what's new in Beatmaker 3. A lot of this stuff boils down to automation and macros. So if you're not somebody that uses the macro tab a whole lot, this might not be a big deal to you. Um, for those of you that don't know your macro tab in Beatmaker 3, I'll pull it up so you can see it as that loads. Your macro tab is a list of basically digital knobs where you can program just about any parameter on any plugin, any instrument, um, any effect and you can mess with those in real time and record those automations. And it's actually a really powerful section of Beatmaker 3. But apparently there have been some issues um, that they have supposedly fixed in this update. To be honest, I haven't experienced these issues because I don't use the macro tab that much. Um, but yeah, let's talk a little bit about Endless Encoders. An Endless Encoder is basically a knob that when you turn it, will continue to turn. It doesn't stop. It doesn't have an ending point. You can turn it in either direction and it will continually, continually turn. Now, this can present problems depending on the DAW you're using because some DAWs don't support endless encoders. And you know, when you hit the threshold after turning and turning, nothing happens. It won't, it won't keep going forward. It'll hit a threshold and it'll stop. But now with the new update to Beatmaker 3, they have a, a supposedly added support for endless encoders. Now, I wish I could have tested this personally, but I don't own any MIDI controllers that actually have endless encoders. For those of you that have something like an Akai MPK Mini, I know that one's really popular and I know that has endless encoders and probably a lot of uh, Akai products have endless encoders. Um, this is gonna be great for you. It's probably gonna help you with being able to map your parameters a bit better in the macros tab. So after that, improve splitting and merging of patterns with automation data. I personally haven't had any issues with merging or splitting patterns. I do that quite often um, with the automation data having problems. I haven't really had that problem. For those of you that have been having that problem, they probably got a fix here for you. Um, we've got improved automations of AUV3 plugin parameters. Now, I wish they would have elaborated a little bit more on this. And uh, my plan is to reach out to the folks at Intua and find out exactly what they added. But I did some digging of my own in Beatmaker 3, and I couldn't seem to find much that's changed. Now, maybe that's just a, a, an oversight on my part, not remembering everything that's in there. Um, but improved macro controls of AUV3 plugin parameters. We talked about that a little bit in the macros tab. Fixed context switching when editing pattern automations. So I guess people were having bugs with chopping patterns, merging patterns, or going in between editing patterns and having issues with going between different menus with automations. Apparently they fixed that. So fix CC6 and 38 issue for macro controls. To be honest, I couldn't tell you what that was. I haven't had that issue, um, but apparently they fixed it. And overall stability improvements. Now, I can attest to the overall stability. Generally, over the last two updates with Beatmaker 3, things have been a lot better. I haven't had nearly as many crashes. Now, I have had some plug-in crashes, and I thought that it was Beatmaker 3 at first. And then I realized that some of this is actually iOS bugs. Now, hear me out. Several times, uh, probably, I don't know, maybe three or four times over the past month or two, I've had times where I'll go to load an AUV3 plugin and I get absolutely nothing. Like there's no, all of my AUV3s will be gone out of the list. And what I usually do is just is chalk it up to, oh, I guess Beatmaker 3 is having a bug. I'll restart my iPad and then everything will show up fine. But this time, I went ahead and tried opening Cubasis 3 to see if the plugins were there. I opened up Cubasis 3, no plugins, like nothing was there. So it's the same thing that was happening in Beatmaker 3. So that tells me that it's got to be an issue somewhere with Apple. I know there's been a lot of updates coming out for iOS. Maybe that has something to do with it. So yeah, it's not a Beatmaker 3 issue. So just to clarify that for those of you that are having that issue, if you're a Beatmaker 3 user, don't assume that's Beatmaker 3. It seems to be iOS. I almost forgot to share some news with you guys about what's happening with Beatmaker 3 updates. So first off, I'm super glad that the folks at Intua are putting out relatively quickly lately 
some updates um, and that's dope. Even if these are small updates, it shows that development is still happening, which is always a good sign. And I know for a fact that they have some big things planned. So some of you guys might have seen my top five feature requests for Beatmaker 3 video uh, that I put out. If you haven't seen it, I'll try to remember to link it down in the description. But I, I shared some things that I would like to see changed, like for example, uh, a refreshed UI, one that's more pleasant, exploded view for patterns in the uh, playlist. So being able to see all of your different patterns vertically in the playlist instead of having them stack on top of each other. Being able to automate on and off for effects. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. I saw some 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 action in the comments section, somebody from Intua saying that this stuff is on their list. The things that I mentioned are on their list and they're forwarding more of this information to Intua. I did not verify this person's identity, but it seems like it's pretty legit. So hopefully we've got some things in action and in motion. I haven't got any information on when these things will be implemented. So as soon as I know that, I'll let you guys know. So exciting things on the horizon for us Beatmaker 3 users. I've tried using other DAWs. I really have. Different DAWs do different things well or poorly. And Beatmaker 3 seems to just strike that sweet spot for me across the board. Obviously there's some things I would like to see changed. So if Intua can, can you know, make their UI a bit more pleasing, I think it'll change some things. Question of the day. I'm considering doing a music review on this channel um, first starting it out for YouTube and eventually rolling it out to uh, moving it over to patreon exclusively but uh, I want to start it on YouTube of uh, doing a music review here on the channel you guys getting to send in your music there's going to be some qualifications on you know what's going to get played and whatnot um, but if you guys are interested in something like that let me know down in the comments that's our question of the day for today so until next time creatives go make something dope and I'll see you in the next video.